Hello everyone, Niamh here, and today I am going over what I did for my Japanese studies for the month of March 2024. And in front of me here are my two uh, kind of general uh, notebooks, <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh, this is my Nihongo no Niki, or my uh, Japanese language diary. Um, and this is my general hobbies diary. Um, and of course, I've gone over these in my previous uh, videos. So um, this kind of records my uh, hobbies, uh, what I'm doing like on a day-to-day -day basis. However, for this month, for uh, March, I hardly uh, filled this out. I mean, we'll start at the beginning here and I'll, I'll just do a flip through of each page. Obviously, I didn't do anything on page on the first day. And again, nothing there. So, and there's, there's just, I've kind of, uh, gone down a bit on my, um, uh, recording <laughs> this month, um, which I think, uh, went in line with what I did last year. Um, I think March and April were kind of empty, uh, uh, record keeping months for me. And maybe it's just my natural flow of, um, the, of that time of the year that that um few months into the year that i i think a lot of the things sort of wind down a bit so i i am just going to flip through this real quick just to show um i have the bookmark in on that page <laughs> um the the fact that i really did not do very much uh record keeping in fact the last uh, none of this this last week i didn't record anything and we're i am recording this now on the third and um i hope to have this up on the fourth and even now i have not recorded anything so that's um a, it was the same thing last year uh, at this time so maybe this is just uh, cyclical for me and um and i don't do a lot of recording uh, around this time of the year um but i do think i want to sort of switch up how i was recording stuff um because this was kind of how i was doing it before um i would separate it into sections this was what i was doing for japanese this was was like some spiritual stuff um this was uh what i was uh posting on social media and then of course what we watched that day um yeah so um and that was fine uh but uh i i think now that i'm getting i'm winding down on that <laughs> i think i want to change things up a little bit so i still haven't figured out what i want to do so april may be a pretty empty re record keeping month for me as well all right, so let's go over what I actually did for um, uh, for the month of for studying for the month of March. All right, so this is really only the the what I'm recording here. So um, so for week one, this was March. Um, I did uh, kanji from zero to. That's this. There we go. I zoomed out a bit so that we could see this. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Uh, I haven't been doing new lessons in Kanji from Zero Two because um, uh, we're actually in week one of uh, April now, and I've also been doing uh, uh, week one in April is also Kanji from Zero Two, and I haven't been doing new lessons. What I've been doing instead um, to catch up is uh, going over the previous lessons I've already done and putting them in here. Um, of course, I had already started this, but... Um, I was kind of catching up because <laughs> I'm I did I think lesson eight is what I did here so it's basically going over um each of the kanji that you learn in a lesson these are the main kanji and then with the uh like the mnemonics that this book teaches you I wrote right there and I wrote the um keywords in red and um, the actual meaning of the kanji in uh, highlighted in blue there. So that was kind of my <laughs> my um, my code or whatever like <laughs> to to do that. And then here it's just repeating the kanji. It's like practicing it. Um, I, I do it big and then medium and then small. And then each of these um, each of these kanji in this book has six sample words that uses um, the different. Uh, the different readings for that kanji um so i and there's six spaces down here so i i go ahead and i i write um how this word is said uh so muku 
um, to face, to turn toward, to turn toward. And then I write the kanji uh, in bold letters here and then in regular pen. And same thing, <laughs> you know, so I, I already went through this uh, last month in the last month video. Um, so yeah, and this week I'm working on uh, uh, lesson nine. So I did lesson eight last month. All right, so that was kanji from zero to so week two, I did uh, Japanese from zero three. So let me pull that out and we can uh, kind of see what I did there. I think I did all of, um, so this was the first lesson. This was lesson one. Um, I can't remember if I did that. Yeah, I think I did all of lesson one because um, this is a brand new book. So, <laughs> and I got it in March. So all of lesson one was what I did uh, for uh for Japanese from zero three. Um, so I think next week uh, here in the month of April is gonna be lesson two. So I'm gonna do all of lesson two um, spread out through five days. Um, and I will do that um, this week. <laughs> all right, so that was week two. And let's see, week three, I did Wani Kani. So for that, I have my Wani Kani book here. Um, and this is just a notebook um, from Hobonichi here. Um, so what I do, uh, so last year what I did for, when I did new words for Wanikani, I would do like 10 words a day and I would record them in my hobbies journal, uh, that thing here. But um, this year I've kind of changed things around a bit and I started recording them in its own special book and I record a lot more information. And because of that, I can't do 10 uh, new words a day, 10 new kanji a day uh, with Wanikani. Um, so I got to stick with just the five. Um, so th it is cutting down how many new words in Wanikani that I'm learning. Um, but that's okay. Um, I'm So I did, uh, you know, uh, like five new words a day for uh, that week. And um, I, I do like what I'm doing here. Um, I'm so, sort of figuring out exactly how I want to record it. <laughs> so so I kind of, uh, um, you know, I, I don't know what the right word is, but I, I experiment. I think that's what the word I was looking for. I experiment a little bit in how I, I lay this out, but I think by this point, I kind of figured it out. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So that was uh, week uh, three. And I think that's the same thing for this. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of repeating. Um, so... Uh, last month, it was Kanji from zero two, uh, Japanese from zero three, Wanikani, Yotsuboto, and Bimoji. Um, and it's the same thing here. <laughs> All right. So it's it, this month, last month and this month are kind of uh, repeating a little bit. So maybe I won't even have a uh, April recap um, if it's going to be basically the same, but we'll see. All right, so uh, that was week three. Week four was recording uh, and doing uh, the intensive reading of Yotsubato. Um, so I pretty much go over uh, every, I translate practically every bit of dialogue in this book. <laughs> and this is my Yotsubato uh, um, notebook here. So, you know, I mean, there's a lot here because uh, I am getting pretty far into this book. Uh, I think I'm just about halfway. Yeah, uh, maybe a few more pages and I'll, I'll actually be halfway. Um, so yeah, um, I I have been really enjoying this. Um, yeah, so it's a it's a intensive reading here and, and translating everything. Um, I well, that's not exactly true. I don't translate everything. If I if something happens in the book that I read it and I can easily understand what that says, it's very obvious. I often won't record that. Um, but even if I kind of know what it says, um, but it's still not as, it's not like super intuitive to me or, or immediately came to me, I'll record that. But, um, so I record almost everything from this book and translate it here. So, uh, so that was, uh, week four. And finally, um, week five, and I just want to go over this real quick. Um, so I've been doing um, this Bimoji uh, workbook here, and here's for the week for this month. <laughs> um, but this was last month's. Um, I'm scanning them and then printing them off. Um, so it 
it, basically this book is a just uh, handwriting practice, <laughs> um, but uh, it's entirely in Japanese. So all of the instructions are in Japanese and things like that. Um, so what I've been doing is uh, essentially translating all of the little uh, the little bits and pieces. Like <laughs> um, I didn't translate all of this, but. Um, but yeah, I, cause, so the focus for me isn't so much the handwriting, though I do do the practice. It's more uh, trying to translate all of these little instructions and because it's a lot of times it's the same instructions over and over again, it's kind of repeating. And um, I thought this would take hardly any time at all to do that. And so because of that, I also had for these days that I did um, Bimoji, I also said I would do three questions from uh, Shin Nihongo uh, Go Hyakuman. Um, yeah, so I, uh, but like this ended up taking so long to do every single day that I just, I haven't touched this. Um, so I really need to figure out how to reincorporate, it, reincorporate this book um, back into uh, my study routine because right now I just have not touched it. Um, so, yeah, so this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I think uh, I'm, I'm looking, the next section is all the katakana. So that's gonna be uh, what I'm gonna do this month. All right, so that was uh, all the study night stuff. Um, the other things that I wanted to talk about, uh, well, one, there's, um, there is uh, Terrace House. Um, and this is actually the episode that I did this week um but yeah i i did uh other episodes here so when i watch terrace house um i'm the first day i watch it uh in japanese obviously uh with japanese subtitles and i watch it very slowly that first day i watch very slowly because i'm pausing constantly um to look up um the subtitles look up what they're saying um kind of guess what they're saying and i copy down i many different uh things that they say you know <laughs> so uh lots of different inf uh things that they say i i copy down <laughs> you know it, it's just a bunch of sentences uh from the show and um then of course at uh the end of the week i go through my uh, nihongo no niki and let's see, we're, uh, we're going to find um, March here. And all right, so here it is. All right, here's the beginning of March. So, you know, after um, I watch the episode, uh, I watch the same episode every single day uh, or try to. I, I usually only watch it about three times a week. But the first day is in Japanese with Japanese subtitles where I record um, just all the sentences that I want to. And then um, the next day I watch that episode again, but with English subtitles. And I really just pay attention and I try to listen um, to what they're saying and connect it to the English that I'm seeing on the screen. And then on the third day, I watch it again, but with no subtitles whatsoever. So I'm just listening, basically. Um, well, the camera un unfocused there. <laughs> but I'm just listening and um, paying attention that way. And if I watch the show again after that, I watch it with Japanese subtitles. Um, and I might end up recording a few more sentences. Um, yeah. Um, and then at the end of the week, um, I decorate my Nihongo no Niki. And I pick seven or six, depending on, because uh, some of the quotes are quite long, so they take up two spaces. Six or seven quotes that I really like or that... For some reason, I was just like, I like this one or that one. <laughs> and then I just put it in my uh, journal um, on each of the days. So this was week one. Um, I think it was episode 14, 14, 15, 16. No, it was 13. So 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. Um, and obviously I don't really have a set theme or anything. Um, I kind of just use whatever stickers or whatever I have that I like. Um, this is obviously from One Piece and these were just, um, yeah. <laughs> and then I try to put some uh, pictures from the episode in the, um, like I, I have one of those Canon IV uh, uh, sticker, sticker printer things. <laughs> and um, unfortunately I ran out of the size that's, um, 
this well no not that one because I printed that off this size I've I ran out of this size so I need to buy more of these I just haven't gotten around to it but I have a bunch of the the circular ones the small circular ones so that's mainly what I've been using for the past few weeks and every once in a while if I remember to uh, or if I have time to I might print off a, a sticker from my computer so yeah um I will say I completely skipped the last week of uh, March. Um, so this is going to be empty and uh, I will decorate this page. Uh, this was supposed to be episode 17, but that is now going to be this page. And I am a-okay having an empty page. I might go through and just like, like decorate it um, and put, or put full page stickers up things over it I don't know um but uh yeah so I I just I really needed a break from Terrace House um so I I spent this week um not watching it so so I didn't decorate a page or anything for it but I am on episode 17 now so um so that is uh Terrace House there we go so I can't remember if I got these in February or March but I think it was in March um uh, I'd have to go back and look at my catalog uh, of videos um, where I did where I got my um, my new uh, manga from uh, box of manga um, so yeah I got uh, Yotsuba to 2 which is great it's gonna be a long time until I read that uh, chainsaw man which is really cool um, I, I mean I'm kind of excited to read this um, then I have these ones here. It's a part one and a part two. So that's pretty cool too. Um, so yeah, I, I may have already <laughs> shown these like in my February recap cap, because I, I can't remember if I got the box of manga in February, March. So yeah, so I got um, a box of manga. <laughs> And speaking of a reading, the main uh, focus that I had for the month of uh, March was actually uh, my reading reels on Instagram. Um, and I have been posting some of the reading reels as shorts here on YouTube. Um, I think I'm one behind. <laughs> and I'll uh, maybe put an overlay of some of the reels here um, so that you can kind of see uh, what those look like. Um, they, I do have shorts of them on YouTube, but um, if you want up to date, uh, I put them on my Instagram like every Friday. Um, so yeah, what I, I've been doing is I'm reading, I have my bookmark on here. I've been, on, I'm on the introduction of the book right now. And um, let me zoom in a bit here. <laughs> um, so I'm on the introduction here. And basically I'm separating these into uh, one minute long chunks. <laughs> and since I'm not very good at reading Japanese I, and I'm practicing the whole week, um, it, it, it takes me a while to read it. So so I think week one, I did from here to here. Um, so that was uh, day one. And then day two, I think I did from here to here. It, so it was that chunk there. <laughs> and then day three was uh, this whole chunk here. Day four was from here to, I think, here. And day five is what I'm is the next one, and it's uh, from here to here, I think, <laughs> or maybe I have one more. No, it's from here to here. <laughs> so yeah, so there's uh, I, I'm just separating it into small chunks um, and spreading it out, and uh, yeah, and it's on my uh, Instagram. Those are when I post them uh, um, first. Uh, I also post um, sh shorts of them on YouTube, and I also have been posting them on my TikTok. Um, so yeah, <laughs> and if I remember, I'll leave my, um, you know, uh, my links and stuff for that down in the description. But um, there we go. So that these have been a lot of fun. I'm going to do the whole uh, introduction. So all of April, I'll also be doing uh, reading reels, and it looks like I might end um i might be able to get all of it done all of the introduction done in april but i might go one week into may and once i'm done with the introduction i'm actually going to take a break from the reading reels but what i might do 
is do a long form uh, video of me attempting to read this from here, basically reading the entire uh, introduction. And um, yeah, so I might do a video of that and put it here on my YouTube, uh, basically when I'm done with this. So that, that'll be in May if I do that. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. So, all right, so that is um, uh, my reading uh, reels. Okay, so that was everything for the month of March. Uh, I know this video wasn't that uh, extensive, um, but please go check out my shorts uh, here on YouTube or uh, my uh, my reels on Instagram or my TikToks, <laughs> Which, whichever one you want to do, whichever uh, platform you uh, like the most. Um, but yeah, so I've been trying to um, I've been trying to post on TikTok more um, and b basically just reposting my study reels or or my, um, my, basically all my Instagram reels, I'm trying to repost on TikTok. And um, now I am trying to also do that here on YouTube. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next month. Bye everyone.